Happy Wednesday, Gladiators. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Abby Lorbecki. This is your KWHS News. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, mark your calendars. If you fancy yourself majoring in dance, music, liberal arts, photography, or theater, you should attend the Performing Arts Fair in Denver on Sunday, October 30th. The fair will feature colleges specializing in performing arts. Go to this link to register. The fair will be from 1 to 3 p.m. at Infinity Park Event Center. Attention juniors and seniors. College reps are starting their visits with us this week. On Thursday, September 8th, Adams State University. September 13th, CSU Pueblo. September 14th, CU Boulder. September 21st, UCCS. Metro State University will be here on September 22nd. Colorado College will visit us on September 27th. To round up the month, George Mason University visits us on September 28th. For those of you planning ahead, Grand Canyon University will be here on October 6th. Western State Colorado University will be here on October 11th. And Fort Hayes State University, October 12th. In November, UNC Greeley will stop by November 1st. Denver University will be here on the 8th. And Lamar Community College will stop by on the 10th. And ending the month of November, CSU Fort Collins will be here November 17th. Be sure to go to the Counseling Center to sign up for a pass. Seniors, be sure to check out the link on the WHS Counseling Center for scholarship ideas. The list is also updated regularly in the Counseling Center. Also remember that the deadline to submit the FAFSA is March 31st for the 2016-17 school year. This is required for grants, scholarships, and other forms of financial aid. Access FAFSA through this website and beware of scams. You should never have to pay to complete the FAFSA. Hey seniors, the first senior class meeting of the year will be held next Thursday, September 15th during advisory in the auditorium. There'll be lots of information regarding graduation. If you cannot make the meeting, see Ms. Jones in the Counseling Center. Speaking of graduation, Herf Jones will be in the Lower Commons during lunch on Thursday, September 22nd to help seniors place cap, gown, and graduation announcement orders. Place your orders before winter break because prices will go up. WHS announcements are more limited in January. Go to this link after the September 22nd meeting to place orders. If you have any questions, contact Herf Jones at this phone number. Freshmen, get ready to vote. Today will be the last day for freshman elections, which will be held in room 201 and 202. There's a new club on campus. The Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America is a club focusing on career building and community service. See Mrs. 2G in room 163 if you missed the meeting. The Environmental Club began meetings last Wednesday. See Mr. Cummings in room 204 if you want to get involved. Tie-day sales are coming soon. Now here's Elijah with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your Gladiator Sports. Interested in fall baseball? Meet Coach Sanchez at Big Blue today at 4 p.m. The football team dropped their home opener to Liberty. The Lancers overcame the 20-13 halftime deficit to win 27-20. The cross-country boys sped away with the first-place victory Saturday, while the girls' varsity took third in Wideville High School Invitational. Have an excellent Wednesday. Back to you, John and Abby. Thanks, Elijah. If you are interested in playing Ultimate Frisbee, stop by the Park and Rec Soccer Field Thursday, September 8th from 3 to 5. If you have questions, see Mr. Wallace in Room 4 or Mr. Nell in Room 116. Are you planning to attend the homecoming dance? Homecoming is around the corner on Saturday, September 24th. If you are bringing an outside guest, pick up a form at the main office and return it on Friday, September 16th by 3 p.m. Ladies, would you like a free homecoming dress? Then Becca's Closet is for you. See Miss Molina in room 111 or Mrs. HK in the library starting now until the 23rd to make a dress appointment. There are 100 dress styles and sizes to choose from. The best part? You get to keep the dress. ID cards are still available in the business office for $3. Remember you must have your student ID to attend school activities. If you are here for after school activities, remember to return the after school activity form to get the sticker. You can get these stickers in the main office and the business office. The 2016 Fall Credit Recovery Program is currently accepting registrations for the fall semester. Students who need to make up credits can sign up for these eight week classes for $100. The deadline is today. Go to WSD3.org to sign up. That's it for today, Glads. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Abby Lebecki. See you guys Friday.